Okay, so I just got done watching Killing Grounds and it is streaming right now on Stan. And this is a movie I had no expectations going into. I read the little synopsis that Stan released for the film and, you know, it sounded interesting. And I like these survival thriller films. Um, there's another Australian um, survival film called Outback, which I really enjoyed. Um, I thought it was in a really effective, well done survival a thriller film. It's about this couple that they travel the outback, um, and and they get lost and they can't find their way back to the car. And I thought that was a very tight and like scary um, survival film. And just like the thing I like about these movies is how the people make it out alive, how they live, how they live to tell to tell the tale. Of what happened like there's another uh, great one this one isn't a horror or a thriller um, but 127 hours I thought that was like a magnificent movie actually with James Franco in it um, and I thought that was like a great movie but if you guys haven't seen Outback my my biggest recommendation to you is 100% go watch Outback I think it is such a phenomenal survival film so anyways, yeah, now jumping into, kill, uh, into Killing Grounds, this is another Australian survival thriller film that, like, I like, I've, I've liked, you know, I liked Outback, I liked 127 Hours, I wanted to see what this movie could do differently, and this movie definitely crosses the line of being a horror, especially with certain scenarios and certain sequences that, uh, that happen throughout the movie that really had me on edge and that had me looking away because speaking of that speaking of looking away this genre of like rape revenge type movies this movie definitely almost crosses that I mean like so actually, no, sorry it does cross that line um it's not um it's not it, it doesn't like you know this isn't like I spit on your grave where it shows like everything like it's shot in a way where it's more through the emotion of the scene and the emotion of the characters which I thought that was that was a great way of of you know of selling of selling like of selling their characters to the audience and this this couple um, at least they have plans to get married um, because yeah, the um, our female main character uh, proposed to uh, proposed to um, her I guess her so called boyfriend at the time, but now I guess fiance. Um, and so yeah, like they had they had like a bright future of getting married, and then it's turned um, and it's turned um, upside down, and their trip just goes completely you know like off like off the rails. And this is definitely a very uncomfortable movie to watch, for sure. And this movie is, this movie is definitely scary, for sure. It's not my cup of tea. I don't particularly like watching these kinds of movies that present these, that present these, um, I guess that present these rapists. I guess you could call them and present these murderers. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of that subgenre of horror, so this is a movie that I can see being very uncomfortable for a lot of you know, for a lot of people. Um, and yeah, for me, I'm like I'm one of them. But uh, there's I think there's still a lot to enjoy in here. I think the performances are great. I think the direction is amazing. I think the structure and I think the editing, like this is some of the best editing. I think. In an, in an Australian horror film I've seen like the first quarter of this movie is so well done it's some of the best editing I've seen because it the movie jumps back and forth to these two families um, or it's two like we have you know we have our main couple and then we have this side family and that have a baby and a daughter and it's jumping back and forth and once these two events 
Mm, what's the word? Once these two events, um, I guess, come face to face, and we and we we are up to date on time. Um, the, the film, like the just like the whole structure and the editing of the film, I think is so well done. The way they edit, like these two different sequences at two different times, I thought was I thought was really great actually. And the ending was certainly satisfying to see, you know, to see these guys, you know, get what they what they deserve. Um, the only thing is the ending, we, we don't see what actually happened to Ollie as Eva. Like Ollie's probably one of, one of my favorite one of my favorite characters in this movie, if I'm actually being honest, because he like Ollie is such a tough kid in this. And we don't actually see what happened to him. Like, does he make it out? Do the cops find him? Like. Like, sure, the cops have to investigate this. Sure, the, like, I understand them at the end of the movie, like, the two cops, like, get shot. But, like, sure, like, you know, once them, once at the end, they're in the hospital, surely, you know, cops would go and investigate it, see what, see if any other people have got killed there. Um, and, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, we don't actually see what happened to Ollie. Like, does he, does he make it out? Like, I, like, I would love to see a sequel just to find out what happened to Ollie. Like, just have, like, a like a five-minute... I wonder if there's, like, a five-minute, you know, deleted scene of them explaining what happened to Ollie or maybe the cops finding him. Um, or, like, yeah, I, I did not know. Like, as far as we know, he died in the forest, but, like, there's really no, you know, no uh, definitive answer to whether he, like, he could survive, someone may have found him, like, someone could have been, you know, just, like, you know, going for a hike, and, you know, and found him, and then took him to a hospital or something, or the cops could have found him, like, there are multiple scenarios of what could have happened to him, but, yeah, I don't know, that was just, like, the question I was left unsatisfied with, is, um, like, you, you really care for, for Ollie? Uh, throughout the movie, especially what he has been through, um, especially like at his age, and just yeah, like he's such a tough kid. He's such, yeah. So and this is, yeah, he's my favorite character in the movie, like by far. Like I mean, I enjoyed all all the characters, like quite a bit in the movie. Um, I don't think any of them yeah, were were bad. Um, by by any, I mean yeah, by any means like. Besides, like, I guess our two main bad guys, I thought they were complete assholes and dickheads. Like, the way they, the way they, they, they treat women just at bars, I was just like, grow up, grow up, dude. I mean, you're, you're fucking, you know, 40 year old man, like, you know, we're taking, like, taking photos, like, un un unconsensually of, you know, of women and just like, like, wh wh what is wrong with you? You know, so yeah. Um, but yeah, like, ooh, like our, our main couple, I, I really liked. I uh, thought, yeah, for, yeah for, they had pretty good coats for the most part. Yeah, so yeah, at the, at the end of the day, like, I enjoyed this movie as much as I could for someone who doesn't really like this this subgenre, um, the subgenre of like the revenge rape um, movies. But you know, yeah, like I, 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 like I, I enjoyed it minus a few sequences which I just I cannot watch. I cannot watch that shit for like, I cannot I cannot watch that like ever. That's I think that's crossing that to me. That's crossing the line of what horror should be. But anyways, that's just my opinion. Some might you know some might view differently, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you have seen Killing Grounds, yeah, let me know down in the comments what did you think of Killing Grounds. Did you like it? Did you hate it or did you think it was meh or what did you think of it? Let me know all that down in the conversation down below. So anyways guys, I hope you have a good rest of your night, evening and your day, evening and night. There we go. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, bye.